is Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. From that day forward, so Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And the evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubled thee. Now think about that for a second. It says an evil spirit from God troubled him. That means God will put you to the test from time to time. Amen? Amen. But watch this. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out a man who is a cunning player on a harp. And it shall come to pass, when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. Hallelujah. So even while you're going through the challenge, even as the Lord is testing you, there's what? Always a solution. There's always a deliverance. There's always a solution. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that has a cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and a prudent in martyrs, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Keeping in mind fresh that the prophet Samuel anointed David when he was a child. So he's under that anointing already, even before he was king. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Wherefore Saul sent his messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. The little shepherd boy, can you imagine it? I'm going to skip a verse. And 21 says, And David came to Saul and stood before him and loved him greatly. And he became his armor bearer. So even under the anointing, even though the Spirit of God had come upon David, and even though Saul was under trouble, David still held his position. Amen? He became his armor bearer. He said, I'm under the anointing. I'm going to become the armor bearer of the king. Hallelujah. So he had a time, even though he didn't take the place as king yet, but he had time as an armor bearer. He took his position to make himself ready. He said, I'm under the anointing, so let me guard the king first. And Saul, and, and, and Saul said to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, and for he hath found favor in my sight. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took a harp and played with his hand. And so Saul was refreshed and was well. And the evil spirit departed him. Hallelujah. Amen. Family, what does that tell us? That even in the storm, uh -huh. even under the test, right. that God is putting us through at a time. Amen? Amen? He always sends us an intercessor. You, he always sends us a comforter. Yes, he does. always sends us help. You know, he said, I'm never going to leave you comfortless. Did he not? Amen. So, keeping this in mind, when David took the position of armor bearer, he was setting himself up. He knew he was under the anointing. He knew, but he knew at that time he was not yet king. So he put himself in a position. Come on, preacher. Amen? Amen. He put himself in a position at that time until his time was to come. Because he knew he was under the anointing of God, he took the position of armor bearer. Amen? Amen. Amen? So just as the Spirit, it didn't take no big deliverance, no hoopla, no loud prayer, no nothing. That's right, that's right. Remember the lady with the issue of blood just touched the cloak of Christ. Right. Amen? Right, right, right. In this case, as we worship tonight, anytime you're in trouble, and you're going through the test. Mm -hmm. Sing praises unto God. 
playing music. Like our master piano is here, Stevie Keys. Play the drums like my brother here. He so beautifully praise the drums. Praise unto God. Play an instrument. Sing praises unto God. Because it's simple when you go, when everything is glorified. Everything is easy. It's simple to say thank you, Lord. But how is it when you praise him in the storm? How is it when you're going through the trouble, you have that thanksgiving in God? Amen? Sing praises unto God. God anointed David, and the first thing he did was sing praises. Hallelujah. So as we're going tonight, remember, no matter what you're going through, number one, what? David was anointed. Number two, as Christ told us later on, I'm going to send you a comforter. I'm never going to leave you comfortless. We have that confidence, though, no matter what we're going through. No matter what the challenge is, no matter how big you think it is, that we have salvation in Christ. That we can play. That we can sing and glorify God. Because there's nothing better for your spirit than to glorify God in the storm. Even when Jonah was in the well. Hallelujah. Even when Jonah was in the well. Thrown into the sea bound. Amen. Even when Jonah was in the well bound and thrown into the storm, the well still came and got him. He did not drown. As they went through the well into the belly and loosened his bounds. No matter what you're going through, even if you're facing death, God has a solution. And in that case, it was the well. In this case, it's the music. And even in that storm, even in the belly of a whale, Jonah prayed to God. Salvation is of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Salvation is of the Lord. Yeah. Even in the belly of the fish, Jonah prayed to God. Yeah. Even in the darkness, even in the stomach, that, that whale was actually his second chance. Because when he fled Nineveh, that's what brought the storm. When he started to repent, he went in the water. When the whale took him up, he gave him a time to repent. God gave him a second chance. God gave him a comfort. So when the time came that he repented, hallelujah. When the time came that he repented, he came out of that well to the glory of God and took his position. So no matter what your situation, take your position. Because each and every one of us has a purpose. And God has a perfect plan for us. Remember that us as believers, as children of God, we have the victory. We're not even fighting a war of win or lose. Christ already won on the cross when he came down and defeated death. Hallelujah. So we have that comforter. We have the victory. We have the salvation. So no matter what you're going through in the storm, praise him. Play for him. Sing to him. Pray to him. And have that faith that that woman with the issue of blood is said, no matter what, Michael, if I just touch the hem of his garment. If I just touch the hem of his garment. How much power does Christ have within him? Anything you have. Do you have the faith of a mustard seed or do you have the faith of the shield? Paul talked about the armor of God, the shield of faith. How many people have shield faith tonight? Hallelujah. Because Christ already won that victory from death. So no matter what the storm we're going through, if it's sickness, cast it out. If it's disease, cast it out. If it's torment, cast it out. Because if Christ won the victory, cast it out. If it's not of God, cast it out. If it is of God, thank you. And even after you cast it out, thank you. Because we already have the victory in Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We already have that confidence. We already have that victory that no matter what we're going through, Amen. praise him. If it's playing an instrument, praise him. If it's singing, praise him. Amen. Angel, I know she's a good friend of mine. She pours her heart out everywhere she goes. Amen. Praising him no matter what challenge she's gone through. Yes. Amen. She's always out there for other people. A great example of a woman of God just stood up here. Yes. To go out, no matter what you're facing, praise him. Thank him. 
glorify him. Amen. As they sang earlier, let praises rise. Let it rise. No matter what you're going through, let it rise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that we had that victory. Thank you, Jesus, for that victory. Thank you, Jesus, for your glory. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. For your mercy and glory forever. Thank you, Jesus, that you loved us so much. Thank you, God, that you sent your son. That your son sent the comforter. That we have the victory in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you for the ability to praise you. We thank you for the ability to sing. We thank you for the glory. We thank you for things to come. We thank you for our families. Hallelujah. That even when we're tested, even when we're tormented, there's an answer. And we know in the current, see, David, the, the beautiful part about David was he was an Old Testament king with a New Testament theology. The Old Testament king with a New Testament theology. He already knew what was coming. He already had that where everybody else said, sacrifice bull, sacrifice lamb. David said, God, all you need is my love. All you need is my heart. Psalm 119 verse 11, I heed your word in my heart. Don't just get it here. Get it all the way down to here. So in the armor of God, when we put on the armor of God, we put on the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation guards what? Your mind. Where's the first enemy? To, where's the first place the enemy is going to attack you? The mind. But when you first accepted Christ, you made a choice. See, human beings, we have the power to make a choice. And when you first accepted Christ, you you made a choice. Just like you told my namesake Matthew, invite me to dinner. Yes. That was salvation talking. Invite him into your heart. Invite him into your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you go down the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. It guards your heart. That's, right. That's your hard drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You love God from your heart. Yes. The word of God is in your heart. That's what David was talking about. I heed your word in my heart. I heed this word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. It was so incredibly important to him to be the man after God's heart. It was so incredibly important to him that he hid it in his hard drive. I heed your word in my heart. It's here. Yes. Yeah, when we love our family, it's here. Yes. When we love our spouse, it's here. Yes. When we love our brethren in the ministry, it's here. Yeah. It's not here. It's yeah. here. It's love. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. It is love. And God is love. Yes, and there's yes. not much that God loves more than to see his children seeking out for him. On, to praise him. Amen. To worship him. To sing to him. Amen. Hallelujah. That no matter what you're going through, you have victory in him. Amen. Amen.